Malo soy vua. My name is Joe. We are working with Samoa Digital Communications to put together this video so that you can help your family here in Samoa. And you're watching Jamily TV. Uh -huh. If this is your first time here, please consider hitting that subscribe button down that way. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back to watch some more. Samoa is ending analog TV and they're switching to a fully digital format at the end of August 2020. So we only have a couple more weeks left before we switch over to digital TV. And Samoa Digital Communications is here to help you guys make the transition easily. So I wanted to go over a few things. Number one, I want to talk to you about your antenna because your family's antenna might not be the right one. So you guys need to get the right antenna for your family. The next thing you need to do is buy this box. The box is only 55 tala from several retailers here in Samoa, including Samoa Stationery and Books and probably Bluebird and several other places in Samoa. They're basically selling them everywhere for 55 tala. And then the final thing you need to do is hook this box up to your TV. And we're gonna show you everything so that you guys can help your family make the transition successfully. So the first thing let's talk about are UHF and VHF antennas. VHF antennas are very high frequency. UHF antennas are ultra high frequency. Depending on where you or your family lives in Samoa, you need to get a specific type of antenna. If you live in Savai'i, then the only antenna that will work in Savai'i is called UHF antenna or a combination UHF VHF, but VHF will not work in Savai'i. There are some places in Upolu where VHF will work, but most places in Upolu are going to be UHF friendly. So take a look at this map, find where you live, and then according to this map, figure out where you should be pointing your antenna and which kind of antenna you need. The antenna is the most important part. As you can tell from my antenna, this is a UHF and VHF combination. So let's look up on Google so that you guys can understand what a VHF antenna looks like and what a UHF antenna looks like and then what a combination antenna looks like. They're, they're very similar, but VHF have these long, they're called dipoles, and it's just a, a single or maybe two or three dipoles, but they're really long and a UHF antenna has several short dipoles as well as sometimes they'll have a long one also and sometimes they're curved. So if it's a new antenna that's straight out of the box, make sure it's the right antenna for your location. And if it's not new and it's already up, take a look at these Google images so that you can try and figure out, is it a UHF antenna, is it a VHF antenna, and is it the right antenna for my location based on where these broadcasting antennas are at and where I can point my home antenna towards the broadcasting antenna. So as you can see, this is a combination UHF and VHF antenna. This is my antenna at the house. All right, so let's go take a look at my antenna so that I can show you guys everything that's uh, wrong about my antenna and so that you guys can understand what you guys need to do yourself. As you can see from my antenna, this is a VHF and UHF combination, but it's pointed the wrong way. It needs to be pointed out this way towards that big massive broadcasting antenna you see in Vitele. But also, my dipoles need to be horizontal. They need to be polarized horizontally instead of vertically. So let's get that switched out. All you need to do is loosen these two wing nuts. You can use either a pliers or your fingers and undo the wing nuts and you should be able to swap this around so that you can point it the right direction and switch polarization. All right, so this is kind of hard, but I'm doing this one-handed. I already unscrewed the screw here. Now I just need to flop this plate over all the way around 180 degrees and then I can take this part off. Sorry, I'm kind of, I'm doing this with my belly and it's kind of hard. But anyway, I, I take this part off right here, off of the pole, and then now I can flip it just 90 degrees. As you can see, I'm just turning it just to 90 degrees and I'm putting it back on. And now I just need to flop this base plate back around, sorry, again, one-handed and my belly uh, on a hot roof. It, okay, so I can just turn this around like this. Ay yep, flip, one more little flip. Okay, now, now I can screw it back in, oh boy. Now I can screw it back in this way and I can turn the horizontal so that it's horizontally polarized and I can also hook it up so that it's pointed in the right direction. Yay! Good job, Joe. 
I am really proud of myself. I'm not a handy guy at all, but I was able to flip that antenna really easily, um, point it in the right direction towards Vitelli because anyone in the Pia area should be pointing their antennas towards Vitelli because Vitelli has the biggest antenna and it's right there at Samoa Digital Communications. All right, step two. Let's take a look at what's in the box. So this is called MyView DVB T2 TV box. And it has basically everything that you need in it to make your TV switch from analog TV over to digital TV. Inside the box, the instructions, the actual box, the power cord, RCA cables, a remote control. Last but definitely not least, the batteries for your remote control. All right, so this box is super, super easy to work with, so you don't need to worry about the instructions too much. If you run into problems, refer to the instruction manual, but I'm just gonna give you guys the features right here so that you guys can understand everything. Samoa Digital Communications, it comes with a power button and then some channel buttons right up front. On the back, you have the antenna cable in, and then this is an antenna out in case you want to hook up multiple TVs to one box. Even though you can daisy chain this to another TV, the problem is that if you change the channel on the box, it changes the channel on both TVs. So each TV should probably have its own individual box. You also have an HDMI in, a coax, and then your video, audio, and audio hookups. It already comes with your RCA cable, so just use the RCA cables. It's, it's free. If you have an HDMI cable to hook up to this thing, then that's probably good too. This does do 1080p, so the HDMI cable would be useful, but not necessary. And then on this side of the box is the power cable in and then two USBs. So the USBs, really cool feature that they implemented into this box. The USBs are able to use as a digital media player as well as a DVR. So you can record directly from the TV onto the box and then play it back later if you want to. Super cool feature for you to use if you guys are interested in that kind of thing. All right, so let's go over some of the features of the TV remote. Down here, LM, I don't know what the L stands for, but it's your multimedia button. So if you recorded something on your DVR, press that button. This is your TV radio button, so if you want to listen to the radio eventually all stations of the radio will be on this but right now it's only 89.1 i think which is the best station anyway right uh okay so here's the only wonky thing this is your volume button up and down this says page but it is not to turn the channel your channel changers are over here the up and down here is your channel changer this is not this was for a future use then you have your record button here your menu button here your exit button here and then you have some plays stops and all that stuff now these red yellow green and blue buttons are for the future eventually these buttons will be programmable to pay tv options it's not that yet but eventually it'll be a feature added to the samoa digital communication box so pretty cool there and then finally you have your mute and your power buttons all right so let's go get this thing hooked up and so that you can see all the features of this box all right so super simple you just plug that into a regular standard outlet then plug this into the box plug your yellow red and white into your box and then now match the yellow red and white onto the back of your tv if you have component cables like this that's for a different kind of hookup but it will work with this also so the white one goes to this white one here and then the red one goes to this red one right next to it and then finally the yellow one goes to this yellow slash green one here the final thing you need to do is remove your antenna cable from your TV and put it into the back of your box. Antenna in. Lights have come up. Power button. All right, let's go check the TV and see what it says. All right, so I had a problem here and I wanna show you guys the problem with my original hookup. When I plugged it in, there were these four dashes on there. So naturally to me, I thought that that meant that it was off. So I pressed the power button, which brought up those numbers, except it's at zero, zero, dot, dot, zero, zero. And I thought, oh, okay, so that must be the time. So must be on. And then I tried to change everything. I tried to hit the AV button, tried to switch out the cords to hit the HDMI cord instead of the, the AV cables. I tried to switch those out. I thought maybe when I originally plugged it in and it had dash, 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 that was actually the on and not the off. So I hit the power button again. There's the dash, 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 dash. Now let's go back to our AV selector over there and select that. And that's with my regular remote control, not my new remote control. Boom. Then I get my menu. There we go. This is what we're supposed to see. Samoa Digital Communications. So here you just choose your language. 
Samoan is not one of the languages you can choose. So if you speak any of these other ones, good for you. Otherwise, stick with English. Country, Samoa, LCN, leave that alone. And then hit next, active antenna. Let's scroll down here and hit start search. You can see that the process is at 13% right there. There we go, now we're getting some channels. We are 80% done. All right, we're 100% done. And here's TV1. Let's change the channel. Remember that the channel button is this up and down here, not this one. This is the volume. This is something that's not available yet, but will be coming soon. This is the channel up and down. So you can see that down here it says TV2, and it's actually TV2. This is TV3, actually TV3, which I didn't even get this channel before, so that's kind of cool. Four, six, seven, government info. All right, so when you hit the menu button, which is this little button right here, just the bottom left of the circles, you come up to this menu here. Now you can go up and down um, to change these settings if you like to. The other thing is you can hit menu again and you're technically highlighted down here. And so that is part of the menu also. That's something that I missed initially. So this is just the installation menu. Then this is your channel menu. If you wanna set your favorite channels, you can do that. If you keep hitting this right button over here, you can go to this setting here so that you can change your languages. And then your OSD, which is on-screen display, is three seconds timeout. And then you can change your child lock if you would like to put a child lock on, on your screen. You can also do a date and time. Let's see if we can manually set that. It is the 24th, 1326. Seems about right. Let's say okay to that. And then hit menu. In the info, it says 1327 right down there. 1327 and the correct date and then on the screen of the box it actually says two which is the channel that you're on not the time if you want to change your resolution you can change your res resolution right here to maybe let's try 1080p maybe that changes the resolution a little bit get back into the menu again and go to this last button which is the multimedia. So you can get your multimedia there um, as well as your um, personal video recording configurations. So now let's turn the TV off with my TV remote and then let's turn the box off with the box remote. Now it says 1327, which is the time. All right, I got the win. The channels are showing up and everything looks good. So the only issue I ran into was when I plugged it in, it was already on. Just make sure you switch to your AV channel instead of your antenna or your live TV button, and then it'll just come on. Um, if you want to, you can switch to your HDMI if that helps you. Otherwise, uh, I think you're good to go. I hope that that little tutorial kind of helped you guys. I know that it was a little long, but I hope that it helps you guys help your family here in Samoa to be able to switch over to digital TV instead of analog TV. Analog TV is ending soon. Join Samoa Digital Communications. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below or uh, leave us a message and we'll do our best to help you out. Thanks for tuning in to see Jamily TV today. Manuili aso, faso ifua, fa!